Hey there, it's Mario here and in this video you're gonna learn how to lose weight by eating more. And I know it's a little bit of a clickbait title, but that's for a very good reason. And this video was actually inspired by a study done by MyFitnessPal and that just did a study recently using their database of about 4.5 million people. So they figured out what the successful people who are successful losing weight are doing compared to those who haven't been reaching their weight loss goals. It's quite a fascinating study and a lot of data points and it's really kind of my fitness pal for actually doing this because they do have the largest database out there of users. And if you haven't heard about their app, their service, I definitely recommend you to check that out. They're allowing you to journal your food. That's the basic idea is you can journal your food, you can track your calories, you can track your macros, you can see what's going on, you can set up goals, you can measure everything. It's really a good app. I'm using it myself. A lot of people that I'm working with are using it. So what they did basically is they, they try to figure out, okay, what are these people doing differently? You know, we, there, there must be something. And if you summarize all the data, you know, it's, it's a little bit more like they, they said like, okay, they eat more grains, they eat like this and this stuff. But it really came down to eating more fiber. So it really came down to 29% more fiber on a daily basis between the people who successfully lose weight and those who haven't lost weight successfully, who haven't reached their goals. And this, I mean, some people will just look at this very surface level and they'll say, hey, I could just supplement the fiber. You know, it's not that the fiber has any magic. You know, it's like not, you know, correlation doesn't need cause, uh, like equal causation and all these things. And it's really not about just the fiber itself. It's what these people are eating on a daily basis. And what it came down to is that these people that are successfully losing weight were eating more fresh veggies and fruits and in general veggies and fruits. And that is what's giving them that fiber. Their diet overall is cons like constructed of more unprocessed whole healthy food compared to people who are unsuccessful when it comes to reaching their goals who aren't getting that fiber and if you look at the statistics typical American diet has about 16 grams of fiber per day which is way below the, the minimum the minimum is about 10 grams per thousand calories from what I've heard in the, in the data in the papers but it, it really comes out that's a bare minimum you know you can actually add more and the idea I mean obviously not, more is not better just so you can you guys who are fucking stocking your fridge already on supplements for fiber more is not better you know there's definitely a limit of how much fiber you should be doing and what it really comes down to is awareness mindfulness I mean that's one of the most hated words when it comes to like weight loss or fat loss or in general when dieting people hate that word because it actually requires a change it actually requires a habitual change of uh, like your behavior right so I know some of you might be thinking well I know that you know I know I need to eat more veggies you know I'm not stupid you know what why the fuck are you telling me this well look knowing is not the same as doing I know that every single person if you if you stop every single fucking person in the street who is overweight and if you ask them okay is eating more veggies gonna help you lose weight what do you think they're gonna answer Obviously, they're going to say yes. And we all know that. But how many of us have a system in place that allows us to apply that knowledge? So that is the question. That is that my challenge to you is what is your system that allows you to maintain that fiber intake that allows you to get those veggies and your fruits in your diet? So I'll tell you my system. I'm not going to just uh, challenge you. I'm going to give you my system. And that is a plan A, plan B, plan C system. So plan A, I always have fresh veggies and fresh fruits in my fridge around my house and that is plan a and, and i know that that would be in a perfect world i'll always have fresh veggies fresh fruits to eat every single day but i know i'm human life happens shit happens and then i make sure that i have plan b plan b is having frozen veggies and fruits there because they don't have an expiration date so i can always have those in there and i would prefer plan a always about plan b but it is there to help me Plan C, if I'm traveling, if I don't even have a fucking fridge, I will have some uh, Quest bars or I'm going to stop by a shop, any shop that I see that is selling fruits and I'm going to buy a couple of fruits to make sure to get my daily fiber intake. And I'm not doing this because like uh, I know it's like some kind of magic trick, but it really does help like it, it helps massively, not just with like fat loss, but it really helps with maintaining performance, mental clarity. And additionally, I mean, for you who haven't really dug into the research, having a healthy gut microba 
helps you with preventing all sorts of diseases like cardiovascular, diabetes, uh, type 2 diabetes. We're talking about colon cancer. I mean, these things are critical to avoid because they are the biggest killers. They are the biggest killers today. And eating more fiber will help you combat these diseases and increase your longevity. Also, there's been some research just recently pointing out that eating more veggies and fruits in general makes you more happy. So I'm not sure how, how that relates and what they're using. I just I glanced at a few studies that there's a certain chemical being released and that's pretty interesting as well. But in general, what it really comes down to is having a system. So my system is plan A, plan B, plan C, and I always, always can maintain my fiber intake with the system. So what is your system? And I challenge you for the next 30 days to eat two cups of veggies and two cups of fruit every single day, regardless of like what your current meal plan is, like try to implement this. And I would be very, very curious to see if you can do it for 30 days, if you haven't had the habit. And I know most people when they say like, yeah, I'm eating my fruits and veggies. And when you actually ask them, okay, when and what, what exactly have you ate? You know, it's like, comes down to that one slice of fucking tomato in a Big Mac, you know, or like a mini little salad, like full of fucking corn syrup on top of it when they eat like their, their burgers and their fries, right? That's not a proper salad. I'm talking about a big salad. I'm talking about a, a two cups of real fucking salad. When you're eating a plate of food, 60, 70% of the volume of like the amount of the food on the fucking plate should be veggies, right? Can you do that for the next 30 days? And if you can, you'll notice a big change in your life. You'll notice a massive difference in your productivity, in your energy levels, how well you lose weight, your hunger level, especially when it comes to losing fat. That is what it's going to come down to because you need to be in a caloric deficit and a caloric deficit, less food, meaning less food. That means you're going to be more hungry, especially if you're like, used to eating more. And this will help you repair those hunger signals a little bit and help you feel fuller. So that is a little video for you guys. Quick reminder there to get your veggies and your fruits. According to my fitness belt, that is the key indicator. It's not the only indicator, obviously. There's many things playing a role here, but veggies and fruits are definitely one of those things that add extra volume to your diet, which will allow you to uh, feel less hungry and be in a very low calories. Uh, on top of that, I hope you guys enjoyed the little challenge. I'm actually interested in your comments to see if you're accepting my challenge. So let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click subscribe below to support the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.